Freya goes through something really heartbreaking. She loses a child and at the hand of the person that she was in love with and was going to marry. And so through that heartbreak, it unleashes this power in her and her hair turns white and her skin turns white and she becomes the Ice Queen. And so her power is born out of heartbreak and, um, and anger and rage and loss. And so she then becomes intent on kidnapping all the children in the world um, and protecting them in the sick way that she thinks she is. She thinks she's protecting them and she's, she's breeding them to sort of be um, these warriors, these huntsmen, and doing it with the best intentions, although it's, she's a slightly disillusioned woman. When Ravenna re-enters our story, um, you realize that she's responded pretty negatively to Freya's increasing power over these kingdoms. And you see the sibling rivalry come back in full force. And Ravenna wants her kingdom back. She wants her throne back. She wants to be the best, the most powerful, the most beautiful. And so that's where it becomes a sort of power battle between the two queens. Well, it's an incredibly dramatic scenario to see these two powerhouse queens go to battle. I think that um, I think that will be really exciting for audiences. It was certainly the reason why I wanted to do the film is that uh, not only are you, are you really capturing a very truthful dynamic between siblings, but you're also seeing it on an incredibly kind of heightened, fantastical scale. And so I'm excited for people to see that. I had the most amazing time working with Charlize Theron. She's been such an idol of mine for so long and I've really um, loved watching her over the years and I was kind of intimidated to work with her and I just realized she was, she's like a broad, you know, she's so fun and ballsy and, um, and exciting, you know, she's such an exciting person, really authentic person and, um, and a powerhouse. She's such a powerhouse actress. She's so um, arresting, you know, to, to, to watch on camera and then when you're standing face to face with her, it's just, it's a whole nother level. So I, I loved working with her and I love being able to say she's my friend now. I was so thrilled that there were so many strong female roles in this film. I mean, that was the appeal when I first read the script. I just thought what an amazing movie for women. And, um, and they're all very different. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses. They're all fallible in some ways. And, and I think that to have three incredibly defined sort of complicated female roles in a fantasy movie is what's unique about this. I knew Chris Hemsworth socially, but I'd never worked with him. And I just, I, I always loved hanging out with him. Like he's so much fun and doesn't take any of it seriously. He's, um, I think he's one of the easiest actors to work with out there. He's, um, and he's really good at what he does. You know, he really, really knows how to capture that sort of action hero romantic lead he just he just has all the tricks and spades and um and seeing him in the physical stuff like when i'd see him do the fight scenes it comes so effortlessly to him it looks like he's like a pro at martial arts and it just looks so easy you almost want to kill him it's like so easy for him to do this I love working with her. She cares so deeply about your character and what the character might be feeling in a specific scene. She'll kind of dress you in a stronger sense if you're at your most powerful or a more vulnerable sense if you're, if you're starting to lose power, you know? And I think that she thinks about those things and that in turn transports you to exactly the right place you need to be in as an actor. And I remember people coming up to me and standing in front of me and, and they could really fully see the detail of her work and see that every little tiny bead or button was an icicle or was made for, from some sort of material, like the thought that goes into it, the care that goes into it. And she's there every day, like she just loves it, loves what she does.